Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. Another uh, thing about the holiday season as a whole is special episodes of existing shows. Now, there's tons and tons of Christmas episodes of shows out there. Uh, I'm not going to bother trying to list them all, but I am going to talk a little bit about one of them that uh, I didn't see until considerably after it came out uh, and really is one of my favorite uh, Christmas episodes, very special episodes of uh, another show of a show that I otherwise really, really love anyway. Uh, and that's the episode of The Twilight Zone called The Night of the Meek. Uh, and it was originally aired uh, in on December 23rd, 1960. So that's a little before my time. It's in the second season of the original Twilight Zone. And it was one of the ones that was uh, shot on videotape. Which means it fell into that category later on, in, when everything came to reruns, of one of the lost episodes of the Twilight Zone, because it was in a different format than all the rest of them, it got shuffled away into a closet or something, and didn't make it into all of the syndication runs, because uh, it wasn't in the same format. And it wasn't until the late 80s, early 90s, uh, when I first saw this. You know, with, with the Twilight Zone marathons happening on New Year's Eve, and some on Christmas Day, on various holidays, it's very rare for me to see a new Twilight Zone episode that I haven't seen before. And when this one came up in rotation for the first time, and I caught it, it was really, really amazing. For the, anyone who doesn't know, the story is about uh, Henry Corwin, who's uh, a guy who's down on his luck, who uh, every year, though, dresses up as Santa Claus to uh, participate in the community plays and generally try to do something good with his life. Now, he doesn't have a whole lot of luck with that. He's a bit of a drunk. He's a bit of a, uh, a, a, bit of a vagrant in a lot of ways. And, and it's not that he means anyone any harm. It's not that he doesn't try. It's that it just doesn't work out for him. So on this night, this Christmas Eve night, he's, he's out stumbling around in his Santa Claus suit, and things go strange. He reaches into his uh, Santa sack, and he actually starts pulling out the gifts that people really, really want. And it gets him into a little bit of trouble because everyone knows he doesn't have any money. He doesn't have a steady job. How is he getting all of this stuff? Uh, so there's a big uh, rigmarole uh, getting him into the police station and everything like that. And he just gets so into the idea and so happy about being able to finally do good things for people. Uh, that it's just so wonderful to see. And Art Carney uh, plays uh, the main character. And uh, if you're familiar with him at all, uh, chances are, uh, if you're like me, it's from The Honeymooners uh, with Jackie Gleason, where he played Norton, the sidekick. But uh, he has a very large uh, body of work, and, and I recommend you check him out. But he is really funny. He's really talented. And this is one of those uh, shows, one of those characters, where he gets to really flex his, his range a little bit. Because he plays angry, he plays confused, he plays a broken man. Uh, and then he discovers this ability to bring joy to everyone. And, and granted, yes, a lot of it is the materialistic end of things. But that gets transcended by the meaning that these gifts have for the people he gives them to. They're things that they wanted since childhood. They're things that they thought they had lost forever. And it brings that wonder back into their lives, that ability to believe that 
there's something bigger out there. And that's something that uh, we all know in the 60s uh, what was a little on the wane, uh, and definitely today is a little on the wane. So I think that that ability to generate wonder, to be able to accept those gifts, and to be able to believe just for a little while that maybe this guy that you've known as, as a uh, bum may actually step up and become Santa Claus. And that's the beauty of this Twilight Zone episode. Some Twilight Zones have those kind of dark twists in them where, uh, you know, people get their comeuppance. This is one of the ones where the twist is absolutely good. There is nothing bad that goes on with the twist from this Twilight Zone. And it's one of the few that everyone lives happily ever after in. And I think that's uh, kind of important. So if you haven't seen uh, Night of the, the Night of the Meek, uh, see the original one. They did a remake uh, in the uh, later Twilight Zone, the uh, 1985 new Twilight Zone, which isn't bad at all. And that's the first place that I saw this story, I do believe, uh, saw this done as a Twilight Zone episode. But this one is so much better. Uh, and a lot of that, a lot of that credit go, goes to Art Carney, uh, just for being who he is and the kind of actor he is, uh, or was at the time. So... Do yourself a favor, check it out. I believe you can find it on Netflix. Uh, if not, buy yourself a set, complete set of uh, The Old Twilight Zone. It'll be one of the best things you ever do. Because that's some fantastic television. Uh, so, if you have seen it, leave me a comment down below telling me how you feel about it. What's your favorite thing that goes on in it? Is it your favorite Twilight Zone episode? It's not quite my favorite Twilight Zone episode of all time, but it's really high up there. So let me know in the comments about that. And if you like the stuff I have to talk about, uh, give me a thumbs up uh, right down near the comments. Uh, if you're subscribed, thank you for being subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe so you get notified uh, when these things come out. And if you know anyone else who might be interested in the stuff I talk about, share this or one of my other videos with them so we can get them in on the conversation. I'm Kier. That's it for tonight. Guess I'll see you tomorrow.